In this lesson, you'll learn how to resolve conflicts in Edit. A conflict is a steno outline that is defined as a choice between more than one word or phrase. For example, to resolve a conflict, you will press 1 to select the first choice, press 2 to select the second choice, press 3 to select the third choice, so on and so forth. Notice that the number associated with each conflict choice is displayed on the status bar. The correct choice for this particular conflict would be the name Carrie, which is the third choice. So to select it, you would press 3. Let's do that one more time. We'll press F8 to scan forward and land on the conflict. Based on the context, the second choice, your, would be correct. So you would press 2. When you press a number for a conflict choice, in addition to making the selection for the file and edit, you are also storing data that can be used to select conflicts during translation of future jobs. The conflict choice you make is recorded with the two words before the conflict choice and stored in a file called the conflict database. Case Catalyst also looks at a system file to identify the possible parts of speech for the word before and after the conflict and then places the conflict choice along with the system file information in the second choice conflict database. In the lesson on Translate Options, you learned that you can select the easy choice and or second choice options when you translate a job to help select conflicts during translation. If either or both of these options is selected, Case Catalyst looks at the information stored in the conflict database and second choice conflict database and selects the conflict for you during translation. Let's take a look at a file where Catalyst selected conflicts during translation. Steno was previously defined in this user's dictionary as a conflict between sore and sorry. Because the conflict choice was previously selected in edit either with the same two words or with the same parts of the speech before and after, when this file was translated using the easy choice and second choice options, sorry was automatically selected. When a conflict is selected during translation, it appears in the conflict color in edit and you can scan to it. If the choice is correct, you can simply press enter to confirm the correct choice. If the choice made during translation was incorrect, you can change it by pressing the number of the correct choice. This conflict choice is correct, so we can confirm it by pressing enter. Some reporters will simply skip confirming conflicts that already appear to be the correct choice while they edit the rest of the job. If you choose to skip over these choices, then at the end of the file, when you've confirmed that all automatically chosen conflicts are correct, you can click Special Edit, and then resolve all chosen conflicts. This confirms all the conflict choices at once. You now know how to resolve conflicts. To practice selecting conflicts, go into the training user and follow the directions for exercise 4 in the edit practice document. When you're ready, proceed to the next lesson in order.